down for runners. It's great for after a long run. You really want to relax your legs. You want to take your time to just stretch and relax. This is best with a mat because we're going to be in a lot of stuff sitting. But if you don't have a mat, it's also good. We'll be starting out standing, releasing a little bit of the lower back, the hamstrings and the quads, and releasing the calves also, which are all muscles that get really strained during our runs. So this is great after a long run, or maybe just after a short run, but you still feel really tired. Get on your mat and do some yoga. So, 15 minutes, let's get started. Come standing in front of your mat, nice and tall. Take a deep inhale. Hold your breath. And exhale slowly. Really get all the air out. So feel your feet nice and flat on the ground, nice and grounded. So you reach the hands up to the sky, real tall, and then fold forward all the way down. Really try to relax here. Maybe you're really sore, so you're not quite reaching the ground yet. You can have your hands on your shins, on your ankles. Wherever is the most comfortable. And bring your hands right below your knees and press into your shins as you come halfway up. Really have the back nice and long. And then slowly start to fold down again. You're going to bend a whole lot into your knees and lift your toes as you bring your hands under your feet. Toes are massaging your wrists bending the knees a whole lot to create a connection between the ribs and the quads. Once you have that connection, you're trying to you're going to try to straighten your legs slowly. See how far you can go while keeping this connection. Your elbows are going to go out wide and your head is going to drop nice and loose. Try and straighten the legs out as much as possible while still keeping the ribs and the quads connected. With each exhale, you fold a little bit deeper, your lower back relaxes, your hamstrings relax. Start to bend into the knees one more time. Real deep. Lift your toes. Bring your left hand out, bring your right hand out. Put them nice and flat on the ground. Now your same connection, you're going to try to straighten out the legs while keeping the ribs and the quads connected. But your hands are nice and flat on the ground. Bring your hands right below your knees, press into the shins, come halfway up, nice and long back. And then open the feet wide to sit down to a squat. Try to be nice and tall in this squat here. Press the hands into the ground. Lift your butt and bring your left foot way back for this wide lunge here. Press the hips down. Breathe here. Pressing the hips down, bending into the front knee. And with the next exhale, we're going to try to come down towards the elbows. Maybe you're not quite at your elbows. Maybe you're a little bit higher, but you're going to try to get down here. Pressing into the front knee. Get a nice deep stretch in the front hamstring and glute. Working the back quad. With each exhale, you relax a little bit more into the pose. With an inhale, come back up to hands. And inhale, straight the front leg as you 
bold forward. Bolding right between your legs, relaxing the head. Try to have nice straight legs if you fold forward. Start to bend into the front knee again. Nice and long back. You step forward all the way down, all the way forward to the squat, and sit back into this deep malasana squat. Nice long back. Bring your hands back down onto the ground. Now lift your butt and step your right foot way back for the wide lunge again. Right foot back. Press the hips down and forward. The knee bends and comes forward. Just breathe here. Maybe try with the next exhale to come down onto your elbows. Really pressing into the front leg. Get that nice deep stretch in the left glute, left hamstring. With the next inhale, come back up to your hands. And with the next inhale, straight the front leg and fold forward, relax the head. Both legs are nice and long as we fold forward between them. Our body is between our legs, our left leg is still on the outside of our body. Relax the head and really try to fold forward. Start to bend into the front knee. Wide lunge here. Press into the hands. Step your right foot forward to this high forward fold and then sit back to the Malasana squat. As we're in this Malasana squat, we're going to bring our hands behind us and we're going to walk back way back onto sitting. Legs are nice and long in front of us. We're going to inhale to come tall and exhale forward fold. Trying to reach as far as we can here. Maybe we reach our shins, our ankles, our feet. Just relax everything and forward fold. Next inhale, start to walk your hands back up to sit nice and tall. You're going to bring your right foot back. You're going to bend your left leg in. Your left leg is going to be nice and straight, parallel to the top of your mat. And your right foot's going to be nice and back. So the line of your left shin and your right quad are going to be in the same line. They're going to be parallel. As you try to sit up here, and then you're going to fold forward over the front leg. So try to fold right over the leg. You're going to feel that nice, long stretch on the outside of the hamstring, on the glute. Try to release your head.
start to come back up. And now turn, turn to face your back knee. And you're going to feel a deep stretch on the inner thigh and on the high quad of the right leg. So come back to front. Now switch the legs. So bring your right leg out in front. Your back leg comes back. Legs are almost like propellers. Left shin is parallel to the... Right shin is parallel to the left quad. And turn forward over the front leg. And you're going to fold forward. Maybe your hands are out in front. Wherever is most comfortable. So you can fold forward over the leg and get that nice deep stretch. Relax the head, relax the body. Trying to release as much tension here from that long run. Each breath will fold a little bit deeper. The next inhale, start to walk your hands back up to this awkward seat. Now turn to face the left knee. You're going to feel a deep stretch right here in the inner thigh and the high quad. And you're just going to keep twisting to feel that nice long stretch. Right up at the top of the quad is where the stretch is going to feel. As you twist. Start to turn back forward. Bring the left foot forward. Cross your legs. So you cross your legs, sit real tall, and then fold forward with your legs crossed. Try to reach as far as you can on the ground. This is going to help release a little bit of the knees, but mostly our lower back. So just reach as far as you can and relax the head. Nice release in the lower back. Start to walk your hands back, place them on the ground, roll over your knees, come to tabletop. As you're in tabletop, press into the feet, straighten out the legs, downward facing dog. Just hold downward facing dog for a second, really try to get the heels down, pressing onto the ground. Now start to lift your right heel off the ground and bring all the weight to the left leg. Really press back onto the left leg, lock it out and get that deep stretch in the left leg. Now start to turn the weight, lift the weight off the left foot, bring it back to the right foot. Really press the right heel down to the ground, bringing all the weight to the right, pressing back in that nice calf stretch, that hamstring, that quad, really pressing all the weight back onto the right heel. Relaxing the head, relaxing the neck, pressing all the weight back to the right heel. Pressing the ground away. Now start to come back to center, downward facing dog, knees go wide and sit back, way back. Child's pose here. Just relax here, have your hips come between your legs down towards the ground. Your arms are nice and long above you. Just breathe here. Each breath you relax a little bit more. You're 
and start to come back up to tabletop. Sit onto your feet. Bring your hands to a fist. Place them right on your feet. And you're going to almost give yourself a massage as you press up and open the front of the body. As your hands press into the feet. Really open up real big. Drop your head back. Pressing the hips forward and up. And start to come back down. Pressing the hands into the bottom of the feet. Sitting back up. Alright. Take a deep breath. Get comfortable. That was 15 minutes. Cool down flow for runners. Hope you enjoyed it.